Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting and fun-filled episode of Andrew Rants, a video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about the things that piss me off, drive me insane, and make me wonder why. Oh why the world just has not ended yet! Seriously, and I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal while doing it and today... Oh god, breaking news for the MCU, Spider-Man's been yanked out! Yep, that's right, parent company... Sony has said, you know what? Spider-Man's too good for you guys. We want him. You guys can't have him anymore. We're, we're ending this partnership. This is a... It was basically what you would call a really screwed up custody agreement. And they just got full custody of their kid back, basically. That's how they're considering this. I, I don't mean to sound insensitive. But Jesus, this is basically how it is. So Spider-Man's out of the MCU, at least as of now. Uh, Sony and Disney were unable to strike up a wonderful partnership with one another because, yeah, they were never, ever going to succeed in that. I mean, seriously, it's freaking Disney. Yeah. No, seriously, it, it's freaking Disney. Disney was never going to give uh, Sony the wonderful home that Spider-Man deserves because... They just want that cabbage. That's all they want. The cabbage, the dineros, the greenbacks. They want the money. Fans are understandably pissed about this. And articles all over the internet have been blowing up on this. Several YouTubers have already started sounding off, myself now being included in that. Disney cannot get their heads out of their ass. They're trying to have a pissing contest with Sony, and it ain't flying here. And who's the... Basically, who's the one that suffers besides us, the fans? Spider-Man. Look, he's already suffered enough, okay? You rebooted it, what, three times? You had Tobey Maguire the first time, Andrew Garfield the second time, and now Tom Holland the third time. You don't even give Tom Holland a decent chance to really grow the character. He had, what, two movies and two cameos. Oh, oh sorry, three. You had to count Endgame. Okay, so you had um, Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm sorry, no, you had Civil War, then Homecoming, then Infinity War, where he died, Endgame, where he came back, Far From Home. Wow. So let, me, let me double check this math here. Okay. Civil War, Homecoming, Infinity War, Endgame, Far From Home. Five movies. You gave him five movies, three of which he had small cameo parts of it. You gave him two movies for standalone. Well, that's about as much as Andrew Garfield got, but Tobey Maguire got three. Uh, but of course, no, 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 no. Because Disney wants to have a pissing contest. They want full rights to Spidey, and it's not going to happen. They're trying to get a 50-50 split, which is no more beneficial to Disney than it is to Sony. Uh, Sony and Disney have reportedly reached a standstill in negotiations for new terms that would have given Disney a co-financing stake with Spider-Man movies going forward. Because... Disney has nothing left in the MCU pool. Nothing. You killed off Iron Man in Endgame. You ended everybody's story in Endgame. You got, what, four, uh, Thor 4 coming out, which is about the only thing you got left. You got, like, what, maybe one more Guardians of the Galaxy movie, a uh, sequel to Captain Marvel, if you even want to go that route. Then what, the next Avengers, I'm assuming, or the new Avengers, which would be the offspring or s people similar to it. You can't bring Iron Man back anymore unless you're going to do an alternate reality version, in which case I'll still be pissed about you killing Iron Man in the first place. He did not have to die. He could have killed Captain America, and I would have been more happy. But now you're screwing Spider-Man. Look, I have five favorite Marvel characters, okay? Five that are always in my top five. They constantly swap places from two to four. Two to five constantly swap rank, but number one's always going to be Iron Man. Number two through five change constantly depending upon what I think of them at the time. Usually it's Hulk and then Spider Man, then usually either the Thing or Silver Surfer, and so on down the line. But this is piss poor. This is Disney saying we want more money. We want more. Look, Disney, you own Fox. You own Lucas. You own Marvel's ass. Haven't you bought enough? What are you, are you not going to be satisfied? No, never mind. I know the answer to this question before I even ask it. You're not going to be satisfied until you own 
everything in the world. You want us to brush our teeth with Mickey Mouse toothpaste. You want us to drive Mickey Mouse cars. You will not be satisfied until we basically say, all hail Disney every morning as the radio plays. It's a small world after all. Well, congratulations, Disney. You managed to screw yourself over. I'm going to go into more detail with this in my podcast this week, but for God's sake, Disney, what the hell? This is only after, this is only months after Spider-Man Far From Home uh, came out. It's the highest grossing film ever, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah. Well, at least the highest grossing film. It's like, yes. Hey, uh, Sony, we got to talk. We want more money. <laughs> Let the pissing contest begin. And Sony just whips it out and goes, bam, we win, kiss off. And now, bye-bye Spidey from the MCU. So now with another character from the MCU gone, what's Disney got up their sleeve now? Um, well, let's see. Out of all the Marvel characters you have access to, um, well, you got the X-Men. Let's see how you can fuck that up again. Um, Fantastic Four, why don't you try rebooting that? You know, go for it. The second one tanked so damn bad. The first reboot sucked so bad. Maybe you could do it better. Um, what what else do you got? Oh, God, there's so many. Um, oh, 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 come on, come on. Uh, oh, how about a Howard the Duck movie? We can go for another one of those to make it a better one. Um, Jesus, what else could we do? An entire Galactus movie? How about something for the villain side for once? You know, let's have a villain movie from Disney and Marvel. Oh, that's right. I can't. You won't do that because it has to be family friendly because that's the crap you spew to the barn with. This is just pathetic at the fact that you just want more money. Look, you have the sequel to Venom still in, currently in production. Um, it'd be difficult to see Spider-Man's films continue to reach the level of success that they've had without this connection to the MCU. You have him established that he's in the MCU. Now, all of a sudden, it's gone. This is almost like Gilligan's Island in a way. Try explaining how two of the characters disappeared peered off the island all of a sudden. Oh my God, they're gone. But they were here, Skipper. I mean, they were here a minute ago. I don't know where they are, Gilligan. What do I look like? The professor? The professor's gone now. And so is Mary Ann. Oh, God, I don't know what to do anymore. I can't even fix a boat. Oh, we're all going to starve. And this is all because you want more money. Look, I understand you want to have a little bigger chunk of the pie, but that kind of also means that you have no faith in what's coming up and what you can do with your own franchise. Don't keep harboring on this because, hey, good news, this is all we got left. You have a chance to rebrand the Marvel Universe since you ended most of their stories. You got one good thing left with Thor, Guardians of the Galaxy can go one more round, and then I don't know what the hell you're going to do. That's the beautiful question. The opening is gigantic. You I mean you can make another Black Panther movie for God's sake? That thing went gangbusters at the box office. Hell, that thing got beat out only by your own other two movies that managed to whoop its ass. Still, I don't understand how you could have managed to screw this up. Because oh, never mind. I know how you managed to screw it up because you can't think without having your head. Planted up your hamster hole. Come on, Disney. I mean, this isn't right on any way, shape, or form. You want more of the pie, but Sony ain't willing to give it to you. And I, I agree with Sony on this. Look, be happy that you have what you have. Stick to what you had and be done with it. The minute, the minute you realize, oh my God, Far From Home made a crap ton of money. Okay, how can we capitalize upon this? We want more rights to Spider-Man. What are you, J. Jonah Jameson all of a sudden? I want Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man! Give me Spider-Man, Spider-Man! This isn't the Daily Bugle, Disney. You screwed up now. Now, I don't know if this is a permanent thing. It might only be temporary. God, hope it's only temporary because if it's permanent, whoo-hoo, there goes any chance that Disney had of surviving in another year. This could actually be the start of a decline. All of a sudden, all your other movies might start sucking. People will be like, well... You know, this was really cool. We liked Spider-Man, but, you know, all, all of a sudden, you know, th this isn't good. I mean, Spider-Man can all of a sudden go to freaking D.C. No, oh, wait, never mind. That, that, that'll probably never happen. Whew! May, may, may Stan Lee forgive me for saying that. <laughs> Please do not haunt me from beyond the grave. May he forgive me for that. But, God, Disney, this was a stupid idea. You and Sony need to sit down, suck it up, 
act like an adult, Disney, and stop acting like a toddler trying to get its way. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you upset at Spider-Man's departure from the MCU, or do you think this is an okay thing? Don't forget, tune into the Absolutely Completely Random podcast this week, because this will be a topic. Believe me, I am not letting this thing go without a fight. This is, this is going to be a topic this week, where I'm going to go into maybe a little more detail than I have now. At least not, <laughs> not yelling so badly. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rance.